be ready guys 5 seconds start another interesting development in recent years has been the institution of summer schools or seminars where teachers and young workers in different fields of studies whether it be science or humanities can get together and live together only for a certain period maybe 2 weeks maybe 3 weeks maybe four weeks and attempt a survey of the advances made in their field of study the summer schools have proved to be one of the most fruitful developments which we have had in recent times and i have heard myself from the most distinguished scientists and others that their participation in those summer schools has brought to their notice many developments of which they were unaware here i am happy to say that the two ministries with which i am associated have both been cooperating and both have taken an initiative in the matter since 1999 the summer schools have been largely increasing and the university grants commission during the current year is subsidizing and helping a very large number of summer schools then there has been the very important question about the 3 year degree course this is a matter on which discussions have been going on in this country for over 40 years and the consensus of opinion without almost a single exception has been that the 3 year degree course is the only type of degree course which we should introduce at the undergraduate level there have been differences as to whether this degree course should be introduced after 11 years of schooling or after 12 years of education or after 10 years of education there may be some difference on that point but that the degree course as such the structure of the course should be 3 years is almost universally admitted i will not go into the arguments that were given by the university education commission not only the university education commission over which dr radha krishnan our former president presided and of which you were sir a very distinguished member but the university grants commission starting with the kothari commission in 1947 48 said that all over the world there is the tendency that the university's first degree should not be less than 3 years in many countries for example in the united kingdom today there is the move for making the honors course a four year degree course i know that on the continent and in certain of the arab countries like the uar they are planning in terms of a five year degree course but in any case three years seems to be the minimum here if i may say so to my mind at times we have not in approaching the problem considered properly one of the most relevant considerations that is the question of age we debate about a 10 year secondary education or a 12 year secondary education but unless we assure that only young men and women come to the universities and not children or people who are in their early adolescence nothing can be done about standards it is not an accident that throughout the world the age of entry in the universities is normally 18 and in many countries they are trying to raise it to 19 so far as the continent of europe is concerned in many cases it is 20 or over in germany it is very often 21 but i do not know of any country in the world excepting india and the erstwhile part of undivided india pakistan where the age of entry is 
फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन और सिक्सटीन ईयर्स